Hello everybody and welcome to a really good look around the cockpit and the upper deck of this Elan Impression 344 and what a lovely boat she is. So as you can see we're looking at the cockpit from the port forward corner and uh, we can see already what a lovely spacious affair it is. Plenty of room to get around, plenty of room for seating, we can get around the wheel easily etc etc. But let's take a, a, bit, a bit more of a detailed look around. So on the port side here you can see that we've got a cockpit locker, plenty of room in there for your bits and pieces. After that a couple of cup holders and then after that in the corner here. Here, we've got a gas locker uh, in the midship section we've got the cockpit table with two opening up leafs there storage within as well and over the starboard side we've got a cockpit locker cup, uh, cup holders etc in the same place as the port side now I think the starboard locker may be a little bit bigger to be confirmed but looking like we've got plenty of room everywhere and lots of lo lovely um, teak to go with it as well very nice indeed now looking at the port corner here or the port quarter you can see we've got a seat set into the uh, into the push pits as you have on the starboard side we've got a lovely big locker here this has got all sorts of stuff in there There's, there is technical gear down there but there is a lot of room for other stuff down there just as long as we keep it clear from the steering gear very good indeed now we have got these uh, really lovely tow rails so that will contribute to longitudinal strength to the boat that's uh, something really good to uh, to get your to brace against and also we've got uh, rigging point for the jack stays nice big strong cleats etc all good to go now in the port aft corner uh, i mentioned this locker here but as, as we go around across the midship section you can see we've got a, a lifting up uh, companion way there so that's the helm seat that will just lift up that that gives us access to the swim platform but also underneath here you can see we've got the emergency steering provision and if i just look over the top you can see we have a cockpit shower just uh, nestling to the uh, starboard side here and once this uh, companion way is open and the garden gate is opened again very convenient you can see a couple of steps down there to the water how lovely is that we've got some teak inset there as well we've got a lovely long swim ladder big handle there so looks like she's really set up for cruising and uh, having some fun off the back of the boat so to speak big bumper there I can see that's going to be really useful could do with being replaced I think uh, probably more cosmetic than anything I'm sure it still works but something that you might like to consider but all in all really really well set up for uh, all that fun at sea which is what cruising should be about and what this boat is all about looking down at the helm position so you can see we'd be sitting midships if i just go down to that position and we look forward we can see we've got uh, lovely big windows in the spray hood there so we've got great visibility forwards but looking down for now we can see we've got the, uh, the volvo edc system, evc system there just at the bottom and the rev counter and engine hours and we've got uh, lovely wheel steering with the uh, suede uh, with the suede lining and then looking down at the instrumentation here we've got a chart plotter we have got the uh, the autopilot bow thruster control and of course the all-important compass very nice indeed with the engine throttle over to the right hand side there all exactly where we would expect to find it really nice and we've got a great big cover to cover the whole lot up in the rain too which is uh, just starting as i speak on the starboard side again we can see we've got one of these lovely seats um in the corner there we've got a small locker here uh, just for your bits and pieces your uh, suntan lotion etc but under here another lovely great big locker for more storage a bit less uh, technical gear in there so that might be the place to put your bits and pieces and uh, the starboard cockpit locker there i mentioned and the self-tailing winch but if you just move forwards to the front of the cockpit you can see really really nice wide long companionway very very easy to get through uh, the the spray hood is very nice and high as you can see uh, less than a couple of years old i believe could do with a valet but looks in really nice nick to me uh, condition wise nice big window so a great view comes back a decent way as well so we've got shelter here in the cockpit we've got two uh, self-tailing winches here uh, brakes for all of your halyards and all your lines led after etc etc really nice to see that the main sheet traveler is out of the cockpit there and uh, in front of the spray hood as well so that's uh, one less thing to worry about when we're jibing but uh, yeah all in all really really set up well so we've got uh, depth and speed there and on the port side here you can see we've got the uh, the wind angle indicator and speed and a couple of sail bags there as well so a really really lovely place to sail this really really lovely boat from I think. Okay, let's take a little trip around the upper deck. So it's a nice unencumbered step over here, but there is a quite a large step. And then you're onto this uh, 
teak ste little step here and out we go onto the starboard side you can see we have textured non-slip decking and uh, if we just look up at the coach roof you can see we've got uh, three hatches so this hatch will be down to the heads this is down to the uh, the main saloon on the other side just over there is down to the galley area there's a main sheet traveler and uh, the side decks aren't too wide but there's plenty of room to get along them there's no problem there you can see we've got midships cleats on here lovely big ones as well so that's always going to help you and then when we get to this point here we've got a quite a short um, coach roof grab handle there so uh, I'd like to see that a little bit longer but uh, it is there nevertheless and you can see the height of the coach roof here is really quite high so it's a big step up onto the coach roof there but that does really give you lots of lovely headroom down below and there is a lot of headroom so we've got a Selden rod kicker there, you can see lines led aft and they're all hidden under this uh, fairing piece here which is lovely so we've got this really nice unencumbered upper deck so we can land around there if you want. A little bit of a swing around the shroud to get to the uh, fore deck but not too bad as long as you hang on and that brings us, to, brings us to the fore deck and as you can see almost nothing here, loads and loads of room apart from the hatch down to the forward cabin. And then as we make our way forward we can see we've got big chunky cleats here too and a nice electric windlass there too. And if I can just open it with one hand, here's the chain locker. Loads of room down there for lots and lots of chain stroke and rope. If I can just close it properly, we've got the Furlex furler there, the nav lights, and a little seat there in the pulpit. And if I just turn around here, you can see along the length of the boat and just see how lovely, shiny and bright she is. She is a real look of this boat. So back to the cockpit via the, uh, the port side deck, as you can see, um, pretty similar view from the uh, port side as it was the starboard side, but uh, all looking very nice, all set up and feeling like an absolutely lovely boat, which I think she is. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers, just taking you for a quick tour of the upper deck and cockpit of the Zeeland Impression 344. Thanks for watching. And if you want more pictures and videos of virtual reality, just go to boatshedbrighton.com. Have a great day.